So essentially, we're going to try to get some people uh, recruited. Uh, what time is it? Oh, yeah, you don't tell me the actual time. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so essentially now we're at the point I think we don't get any missions auto taken for us. So this isn't floor, right? This is like Miranda or something. Oh. Yeah. So I don't mean to kick you. I meant to talk. I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. Hello. Oh, thanks, Miranda. You're so nice. All right. So Miranda's a healer we can get from Olashian. Oh, I forgot about you. Hmm. Uh -huh. Good deal. Okay. Uh, you're taking a nap before Mystery Dungeon. You forgot times those existed. It happens. If you need to take a nap, guys, and take a nap. No biggie. Oh, no, that's Eisenhower Pharmacy, okay? Hello. Well, I want to talk to you while you're mixing medicines. No one's back there. Okie doke. So let's see. Well, that's right, Mystery Dungeon comes out tonight. That'll be fun. Um, let's see. I forgot how to check to see where the clock actually is. Uh, but we've not kicked the bookstore yet. So let's do our kicking spree. It is now midnight. Oh, where's the guy whose lab is... I can talk to him at midnight, I think. Ooh, I think he's down here, maybe. Is he in here? No. Feh Bannerstein too. Okay. Oh, that's Clive's house. We don't want to go there. There's one guy at midnight. He has a lab you can talk to him in. And, uh, you can just recruit him by talking to him in his lab while he's in there. I don't remember where that lab is. Hmm. You have a doctor's appointment tomorrow? Oof. Hopefully that goes well for you. I hope there wasn't anything bad that they find. Hee hee hee. Alright, this just takes us to the sewers. We don't need to be in the sewers. You, Clive, right? <laughs> I'm just a newbie at Olashion, you guys. I can't do nothing yet. For those of you who don't know, uh, or didn't see the earlier ones, Clive is just uh, like a country guy who's not very smart. It's very annoying very quickly sometimes. He helps you as a mission to be like your healer, priest kind of character, and he doesn't really do anything good. Hi. Welcome. Uh, oh, Ernest. We need to talk to Ernest so we can hopefully get him because we gave him the music CD already. He's probably, yeah, he's already left playing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with your knee. Hopefully they can find the cause because that will be very important, I'm sure. Well, I mean, not, I, I know it's important. I don't know why I said, I said it like it wasn't. Okay. Hey, Rachel. Okay. So, yeah, I confirmed Rachel is the one we have to see transforming. Uh, and we haven't done that yet. I forgot they had apartments in here. Is anybody going to be awake? Are they all going to be in their apartments? They are all in there. Cool, cool. Clive's eyes also make him look like he just saw a village of children being burned alive. Uh, we can recruit Rachel, but we can't recruit her until the next night. Ozeranium. Hey. 
Oh yeah, so this should be what gets us to recruit Alba. Because he was the one I thought I had to beat him twice and I couldn't figure out why that wasn't working. Uh, we were kicking him to fight him instead of talking to fight him. What does she transform into? Uh, Rachel is her transform state, Kaizen. Uh, she's a little girl normally in, during, in the day. Uh, but at night she transforms into Rachel to work at the bar. She uses magic on herself. Cool. New friend added. Maybe we can get lucky and Pinky will be asleep? Because I think to recruit Pinky, I think she has to be, like, sleeping and we just, like, kick her awake. Or him. I think Pinky's a guy, actually, now that I think about it. So we'll see. It is weird, but this game does a lot of weird things. Go, Franklin. I forget if we can recruit Franklin or not. I'll have to see. Do I have people in my party right now? Nope, I do not. Okay. Pinky, where's the brain? The brain does not exist, just the pinky. This is when most of them are probably going to be leaving. Plus, if we come here, we can recruit Dan, who we got the uh, soup recipe for last stream. What? Oh, yeah, he's the guy you recruit because he's stalking a guy he thinks is a girl. Come on, Pinky. Yep. Yep. <laughs> that was close at the boss. Uh, Order Ross had caught me. Yep, that's true. Uh, give me one of your little kick. Yep, we'll do that. Boom, second friend. All right, two people the Thieves Guild. Still waiting for Samus to show up and Ridley to get <laughs> Told you, I don't think that happens. Hey, Servia, just serve me some stuff, okay? Hi. We got the recipe from Old Lady Saren. Yep. Will do, Dan. Let's see, uh, is anyone in here that I can still really talk to? I know I can recruit you, but not till later, I don't think. But we have a good eye. Oh, he's just the guy who's like obsessed with cats. Hmm. Hmm. I've forgotten about his like cat obsession. Are these just rooms to hang out in, I guess? <laughs> hey. Hey. Look at this guy. Hi. Oh, yeah, Elmo. Forgotten about Elmo, but yeah, that's just their guild office, so coolio. Yeah, we don't need to worry about anything in here for the time being. So let's see, what do we have? I forget what your name is. Sylvia, that's right. He is an Ardo fan. Oh, for sure. Shadow clones everywhere. Nobody on the second floor. Okie doke. We'll head back towards the main area and we'll pick up one of the side missions. Because yeah, I feel like we kind of have to do some. Hello. Sonia. Sure. Hello. Uh, I did bring up a recruitment guide, I think. Don't need to worry about Varen. Uh... 
notice anything down here. I don't remember. I don't I still don't feel like this is like a full list though. I feel like there's more and I just found a bad list maybe. Because I don't even think Eon's on this list, but I know you can have them because I've done it before. Yeah, huh. We'll have to, we'll have to find out. That's what we'll have to do. Wait, I went the wrong. Oh yeah, that's. Oh yeah, this is literally just to take some more houses. Okie doke. Wait, wrong. Why did I keep clicking on the wrong things today? That's what I do apparently. Okie doke. So this way. Nope. Up the stairs, dummy. Oh, nope, that was not the right way to go either. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is where our boy Gaines ends up living, is this little slot up here. Doo -doo. I don't come to the beast pit enough, I always get turned around. <sighs> Which isn't a good thing at all. Come on, let's see. <laughs> hey. Hey. Ah, poor Butch. You, what was your name again? What? Oh yeah, that's hers. Hers is so weird. Uh, Butch. Butch was on the list. How do I get Butch? Talk to him with Goyle in your party. Void community casino area. Okay, so he wasn't in the casino, so we can't get him just yet. Okie doke. That'll be something for the next in-game night. God, what kind of store she even has? This is Jill, right? Hi. If you don't wake up when it tells Hi. it explodes, oof. Go for the green light bulb. Promise you're not on. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're on sleep meds or not. Uh, but you did get confirmation, Kaizen. They'll let you pick up your game early for Mystery Dungeon. Back at our old romp ground, the castle. We might be able to hit, what's his name? The guy cleaning the windows. I forgot his name though. Boo doom doom ba doom doom boo doo 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 boo doo 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 don't believe so. I think he's the one. I think I just have to wait until he's actually washing the windows. Uh, you bought a digital because it told me you get into... Oh, okay. That's lame. Maybe you'll get the other ones when it actually releases? It's like I pre-ordered... Uh... What did I pre-order? I pre-ordered uh, Animal Crossing physical... But I'm also like, that might be a better one to get digitally because I can just play it for a few minutes and swap over whatever else I want without having to swap out game cartridges. And especially since I can't you play my same town on different consoles with it. I can't really like keep swapping back and forth.
Oh, hi, Flora. Hi. Oh, that's right. We have to find that that uh, that picture for her. Hey. 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 Okay. How do we get him? Is he on this list I found? Because I'm always curious. I don't think I've ever successfully recruited him. Yeah, this list does not have everybody. Okay, we can't get him until after the split. Okie doke. Um, who was someone else I was looking at? Uh, we'll do Elmo, I guess, just for the heck of it. Okay, we're just at the point now where we still can't get a lot. Okay, so... I know we can get Edgar, so let's work, get focus on getting his. Just to wait till he's cleaning the windows. And then I have to get a belt from one of the guys inside. Why are you not cleaning the windows? So he likes Master Fernando, and we have to, like, when he's cleaning the windows, he's looking at Master Fernando's room to see what he's doing, and we get, like, his old belt or something dumb like that. And then when we give him the belt, he's all appreciative and joins us. I don't need to go to Eisenhower. I need to go, is it this place? Yeah, Morphin's Clinic. This is where we can get Flora, and she's a really good healer, so it would be great if we could go on and get her fairly soon. Hello. Hi. Today's challenge is for Jack Russell. Okay. Let's see, just how confident are we this contestant? Mm -hmm. Let's see, question number one. Who is the captain of the Violet Chevre Brigade? Uh, I don't remember. I think Cross is the leader of it. Okay, so he was just a member of VLA Chevre. I'm gonna have to actually talk to her tomorrow. She may not. Okay, yeah, so I'll have to come back tomorrow. No biggie. Let's see. Do 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 do. There's Master Fernando. Hola, Jacka. How are you doing? I hope you are getting enough rest today. But we are doing well. Just trying to uh, recruit some people. We've got three-ish. Let's go and actually add a party. Ooh, we actually may be able to kick the guy in front of the mirror who's all like, Ah, you kicked me. Oh, you're Mr. Contact, dude. Lost one of my contacts. Hmm. Sounds like a mission. Da -da 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 Find your sword and sleep in and walk in. That's good. Just get, just get all that rest and you'll be fine. Ooh, smiling on Fang can be hard. Let's do Masterpiece of Fantasy. I need someone to go to Earth Valley and pick up some weapons. Yep. Will do. So we need Aiden because we need to get him to level 32. Kick the mayor, preferably. <laughs> I mean, I wish I could. Um, we'll get Alba and, hmm, got Bruce, uh, I don't, mm. 
Maybe Cosmo? Mm. We'll just do Marietta. But before we go talk to Wark... Actually, no. Before... Before we do this. Oh, then you can just kick stuff. That was like literally like the big selling mechanic within this game is you can kick everything. Are you looking at yourself? Yep. We cured Rolex trembling, so Rolex is now our friend. Needless to say, we will not be using Rolex anytime soon. Someone should make a character just punching him in the face. I mean, possibly. Actually, there's one other thing I want to check. And then we'll talk to Wark and get on this mission. Ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. There's one of these people I can recruit, I think. Sure. Nope. I've had enough. I think you have to talk to her before she starts work, maybe. Because you can recruit her. She's not good, but I think if you don't recruit her, you can't get somebody else. But we're not also going for a full recruitment playthrough, so if we don't get her, it's really not that bad. Nope, he is not. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll just go talk to Wark and we'll get some leveling in. Because leveling is important. And maybe we should go recruit some of the non-humans. In case we decide to do the non-human run. I still kind of feel like this first run, I'd rather do it the human run. And then finish up with non-human. Do 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 ba da da dum. Da 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 you might if you could just make Hassleberries and a character creator and just repeatedly punch them in the face. I mean, that would be terrific. Hassleberry is not fun. I do not enjoy Hassleberry. Hey, I'm from Theater Vancouver. I came in about the job. My beautiful collection. They couldn't be any more beautiful. The dwarves create the most exquisite, yet strong weapons. They mesmerize everyone with their perfect structure. The blades are as clear as mirrors and the weight is just right. The craftsmanship and knowledge of the dwarf weaponsmiths shine through. Oh, how wonderful they are. Um, excuse me, are you listening? Who are you? How long have you been standing there? You haven't come to rob me of my collection, have you? Nope, we have not. I'm from Theater Vancouver. I'm here about the job. Oh, you're from the Warrior Guild. Why didn't you say so? I did. Yep. Anyway. You need to go to Earth Valley? Got it. Yes, I want you to go to the Dwarf Foundries. You see Brockle, the most talented dwarfsmith, and his apprentice David, and German, the inquisitive vagabond. I want you to pick up a package from each of them for me. After you've paid for the goods, all you have to do is bring them. Wait. You're going to pick up some of the dwarf's most valuable creations? You can't just walk in nonchalantly. What do you mean? Hmm. Dwarves are considerably more advanced weaponsmiths than humans. They put in their hearts and souls to uh, each product. Okay. Take a good look at this sword. Does it not take you on a, your breath away? Yep. We'll behave. Don't worry, Warwick. Stop being a creeper. Okie doke. Wait, is this... I think this is the gate we leave out of. Pretty sure. Yeah, Lupus Gate. We are at the right gate. Hi. 
Uh, both, Kaizen. I don't like that he replaced Bastion, but I also just don't enjoy Hassleberry. I don't think... Have we unlocked Earth Valley already? Oh, sweet. We can just head on over. Boom. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Back to the Earth Valley days. dun 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 Brockle, David, and German. The water of in general store. They don't have their names outside, so I would just go in and talk to them to see if they're the right one, I believe. This one's taking forever. Yep, here we go. Excuse me, but are you Mr. David? Mr. Warks. Oh yeah, thank you for coming all this way. We've got the goods ready. Here you go. Yep, droid is ready. He's a good customer. Yep. He's a bit over the top. Well, that's fine. Thank you, David. Of course they live busy lives, Jack. Don't be silly. Do 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 This is Mr. Brockle. Who are you? Are you Mr. Are you Mr. Brockle? Mr. Works? I mean you. Here you go. Promised goods. Thanks. I'll take care of it. Yep, get back to work. We have a good heart. Aw, thanks, Brocco. Uh, this is probably the last one. Considering they've all been these three. Yep. Oh, I've been expecting you. Great, do you have a package for me? Yes, yes, right here. Creepity creep. <laughs> oh, work. Work is work is something else. Here. Yeah, very funny. Whoa. Haha, <sighs> just a little practical joke. Whoop! <laughs> it's cow. Uh... Don't be angry. Here you go. Humans be nice with the sugar and spice. Oh, that rhymes. Um, that, I guess. Nice and spice. Eh. Hurry back to Mr. Wark. Who wants to do that? See if anybody is in the Dwarven Dormitory. Um, this room, there's not, there's not a dwarf. Okay. Uh, it's the Annette song from Claude Support. Oof, that's no good. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see, uh, there's a couple dwarves we can recruit, but I don't really remember who they are, and I don't even remember them really being good, so I don't know why I care. 
see if this guy's got any better weapons. I don't think so. I think he keeps the same stock he had when we first came. Yep, same stock. Nothing important. Okay, uh, we're just going to head back to work. And then we'll train in the sewers. Which also might get us the contact we need for... What's his name? Why is that? Oh, because that's where I'm at. I was like, why is that one orange? Because that's where you're at, dummy. The entire supports are about that song. <laughs> okay. It'll be interesting. I need to, whenever I play that more, I should do a run. Just to try to get all of Annette's supports up. It would be interesting to see how they are. Dennis! I forget how we recruit him. Okay, so I guess I have to talk to him like when he's somewhere else. Biff with the raid! How's everyone doing with the raid coming in? I forgot your helmet, she's like a pawn on your head. Welcome everyone from the raid. Hope you all are doing well. We're just sitting here playing some Radiata stories tonight. Uh, let's see, I forgot which, which is the way. Hey, what were you streaming today, Biff? Hope you went well for you. Okay, no, this isn't the sewer. It, which which door is it that gets you into the sewer? I don't remember. We need to find the contact lens. Going to Host and Ghost. Oh, no problem. Finished Metal Gear. Nice. I haven't played Metal Gear in a long while. Wait, why does Star have this weird machine in his room? I'm so confused. All right, so no problem. Thanks for the raid, man. Always appreciate it. Have a good sleep, or whatever it is you're going to be doing. Uh, was it, was it in here? Is there a hole in the, f yes, there it is. Okie doke. I knew we came down somewhere. We came down from here. All right. No, I don't know what this is. It's just some weird ghost thing in the sewer, I guess. This is a good grinding spot, and since we are not that high of a level, it'll be good to work on. I probably should have brought a healer with me. That might have been a mistake. But we, we're doing fine so far. Hmm, taking a little more damage than I'd hoped we would, but it's still not terrible. If we can get the contact lens, the guy we get from that is actually pretty good. So we'll be able to swap out Aldis, or Aldis, whatever his name is. I never remember what his name is. He's that guy you use at the start until you can replace him very quickly. Let's see, um, let's go down the ladder. Let's see what's up. There is a good possibility we get lost in the sewers. I usually get lost in the sewers at least once per playthrough. We got Carlos's contact lens, there we go. I think you have to come down here for something else too, and I forgot what you come down here for. Well, but I'm surprised we only ran into one enemy. Let's go back here, see if we can find some more. There we go. Oof. 
Okay. Let's, uh, where are my healing items? Here we, no, that's, ooh, do I not have any? If so, that is not good. I should have remembered that. Hmm, does that do? Hmm, I may not have any. Okay, so we're just gonna have to play a little more cautiously. And get a healer on our team really quick. That was a huge blunder on my part. Okay. Oh, I forgot that we had like these weird skeleton things. Okay, we still were successful, at least. And we leveled up, awesome. That gets that healing in for us. So, uh, real quick, let's head back. Uh, give Carlos the contact. Turn in our quest and then we'll come back or we'll accept another quest, one of the two. Or both. We could do both. We could come back and accept another quest. I kind of think we have to do all of the current ones before we get our next story progression. Oh yeah, that's the basement first floor. Okay, he's not there, we'll have to find him. Uh, but let me take, I'll take out Marietta. Let's put in, I know Kaizen will not like it, but we'll put in Clive because I know he is a healer. And we need one, even if he's not a good healer. Okay, uh, work is right here. Let's turn in this quest, get it all done. Boom, boom, boom. You've not aged years. This is everything you need, right? Sweet. Hey, hold on a minute. What's up? Joining your hobby. Nah. We'll just go. We do not want to get sucked into your long conversations, bro. They're not fun. Not fun at all. Oh, there you are, Carlos. You mean this? Yep. Thanks, Carlos. Uh, so let's take out Alba. Is he not better? I thought Carlos. Oh wow, no, he's actually worse. Okay. Um. Hmm. We'll just swap in Cosmo then, and then instead of Clive. Hmm. I guess we'll leave Alba in. Uh. Okie doke. Oh, we'll talk. Yeah, talking to fanatics is not hard. Oh, yeah, I forgot. If you kick the desk, it counts as you kicking him, which is dumb. We've done that. The smile on Fang. Ooh. Oh. Uh. We have to do some grinding for that, so we'll wait for now. We are not ready for the Smile on Fang one, if I am remembering it at all correctly. Hey, Gareth. What's up with you? Oh, you got you got them stomach cramps. Looks like it. That is not good. Okay. I forget who is in here. Hello. It's up, Dimitri. 
Okay, so do 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 do. Who's the cut though? Cutscene maybe. Yep. You do, Gans. Gans has not had a good time getting a job, apparently. Or it's a kid crying behind you. Use your brain, Gans. No, it isn't. There's a child crying somewhere. There you go. Somewhere. Around... Don't approach the kid like that, Gans. You'll get arrested. Hello. What happened here? Are you all right? Who? Who are you? <laughs> no one you need. Mm. I heard you cry, so I thought I'd stop and see if I could help. It's mother. She's gone. Oh, the kitten got abandoned. Well, let's go look for her together. No, not me, the kitten. His mother's lost. The cat's mother? Mm-hmm. Come on, Gans. Hey, that's a plan. Not. That's kind of kidnapping. Let's go. I think I don't think we get the next scene right away. I think it takes us a little bit before we see it. Hi. Don't care about minestrone soup. It's probably the special everyday too. I can easily see this be that game where they just left like one of them in, like one item. I'm like, all right, that's it. Ah, uh, here's the Lord Star and Sebastian. We're not feeling jealous. No. So, let's see. Uh, trying to think of what else we can do besides just grinding, but grinding may just be the best. Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, Master Fernando. All I can do is try my best. What happened to his old belt he always wears? Okay. So we heard about the belt, so let's head in here. I believe he is this door, I think. Do, 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 do. Nope, that's Godwin's room. Fernando is the next one. Now let's leave. Uh, pretty much the story with this uh, whole religious guild is there's the two different hallways of people. One hallway is like old and traditional. The other hallway is very much greedy. But everyone will think I asked you to go steal it for me. Oh yeah, I have to go talk to Fernando and then he'll tell me I can keep it. And then I'll be like, he said it's fine. But I have to do it. Hi. Hmm? What, that belt? I've had it for decades. It's worn and old. Cool. We got confirmation we can take it. 
So let's go give it to someone. Do 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 do. He said he didn't need it. Hooray! New friend. All right. Uh, let's go to the Varith area. See if we can get uh. Find the crazy music guy. I kind of think I've already recruited Eugene. Hey, Eon. Are you planning on holding up the shop? Maybe he is. Uh, I don't remember where the library is. Uh, if what's his name is not out here, we'll see about getting solo recruited. There we go. We got Ernest. There we go. So the library, which, which way was it to the library? Was it this way or was it the other way? Very this confusing in how it's laid out. Or really just even a better map would be nice. Oh Kaizen, if you are still here and have not fallen asleep, this girl right here is the girl that turns under- oh no, that's Leona, that's not Cornelia. My bad. Uh, I was gonna say, that's the girl that turns into Rachel, but no, that is that is not Cornelia, that is Leona. That is Genius's little sister. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Do you need another idea? Alright. Hopefully he's not super strong. Oh, we're probably in trouble. Oh, maybe not. It's not the enemy I was wanting to attack, Jack, but okay. You have a Costco pizza, nice Kaizen. Oof, that was a juggle. That was a juggle right there. Bro, that somehow did not kill me, okay. I was like 90% sure I was dead, that got me. Okay. I'm trying to help you get ideas, dude, but you're not wanting to let me. It's cool, though. Let's see. Just another research lab. I do not care about going all the way up. Go here, I believe. Yeah, that's the right spot. There's Leona. We may have already missed Rachel. I probably should have just waited where she transforms at. Sure. Nah. We're good. Uh. Oh, Jack. That's not. I wanted to talk to the person here. How do I get her? What? She's. I remember she's someone I can get what? fairly early, but I don't remember how, I guess. Okay, let's see if Rachel's already here, and if not, we'll hang out by the lottery place. Iris is in your way. There we go. We got around her finally. Took a little bit though. Do 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 Okay, so we'll go see if we can catch her changing, maybe. I think she hangs out in Club Vampire, but she might not. That could be she hangs out somewhere different. We just don't know. 
Nope, wrong way. This way. Solo is so slow. Hmm. No worries, Kaizen. It doesn't bother me. Talking in any way is fun. Well, you're like more... I forgot her name now. Here's the next game's cutscene, it looks like. You got it. Uh huh. I already talked to the bosses and they okayed it. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Rinka, are you sure about this? Hmm. This guy seems a bit, you know, slow in the head or something. I think so too. <laughs> so why let him in? Good old Gant. I don't know. Morbid curiosity, maybe. You feel like the next part of the FF7 remake will come out in 2025? It's very much a possibility. They announced it way too early. I say that all the time. They should have waited until they actually had details and some progress made. Who are you? I don't remember you at all. Claudia. Okay. That's how I bring down the clock. I knew there was a way to bring down the clock, and I just couldn't remember how. That is how you just hold it. Part of me wants to do the boring thing and just stand here and wait to see when what's her name passes by, and another part of me is like, hmm. <sighs> I'm trying to think of where else people would hang out at night. I'm not thinking of any. Hmm. Uh, it would be like if they announced the Gen 4 remakes were coming out the day Gen during the Gen 5 days. Oh, for sure. Is that Rachel? Did she not transform tonight? Because she's supposed to transform at the thing here. Hmm. Now I'm confused. Oh. Oh. Okay, well she's already transformed today, so we can't worry about it. Uh, let's see if we can get the gambling guys in the gambling room, maybe? That might could be something we can get done. Uh, she she's like a dancer or a singer, I think. Kaisen. She's not like a bartender, but she's not uh what you're referring to either. You ain't a little kid. Whatever, bro. Oh. 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 Maybe 
You're just gonna keep picking. Okay. Me? Yeah. You're the one who's making me lose. Oh, okay. Do 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 Oh shoot, I forgot I did not heal. Boom, got him. Otherwise it would be very inappropriate. Oh it is yeah, they it's a it's an appropriate game. New friend, hooray. Why? <sighs> oh, Franklin. And I think now that we've got Goyle, if we add him to our party and then find Butch, we can get Butch recruited as well. Let's see. But we've got enough people for now. We'll focus on doing a quest, I guess. But I also will need to wait until morning to buy healing items before I forget. I forgot who you are. I want to see who you are. Yes. Time. Okay. You mean Majora's Mask had a kid marriage in a way? That's true, it did. I didn't think about that, but they, they kind of did, yeah. up take us to Gans, but that never happens uh let's see here I think what I may do, I may go and sleep at the, our room, because I kind of think if I sleep I'll go on and get my health restored. I think. I'm not positive, we'll have to check. Uh, but then we can do some more farming, or grinding, or a quest. We're on this road. We're below the bridge. What's up? Of course we do. Nah, but you're by our house. A lot of times sleeping progresses the story. So we're either going to sleep and get our health refilled or... Yeah, we're going to sleep in, move forward in the story. We've recruited enough people. We can go on and save too. Why not?
both glad and annoyed that Three Houses married is after beating. Glad because it feels more fitting and annoyed because it makes the 100%. Oh, for sure. You'd have to get all the way to the end select someone different. See if we can talk to Sheila, I think's her name, before she gets to the lottery booth. Alright, let's see if we can beat the lottery lady. Oh no, we just fight guards? That's no fun. Oh, I do not have enough faulty points. Sad days. Why did he move at the wrong time? Boom, we got it. Hey, we learned horizontal slash, yes. You didn't even fight, lady. Let's be real here. Oh, I forgot about this dude. He's like as big as this chair. Welcome. I forget what you have. Oh, you've got the Venom Sword. I'm really liking that one because it gives the poison effect. It's really great. You know what? Let's upgrade to the Iron Breastplate. Yep. And while I would like to go and get the Venom Sword because I really like it. I've always liked this outfit. It's one of my favorites from the game. I don't know why I like it so much. I just do. Um, let's see. I think I can buy potions here. Or do I have to go to the place in Varith? I have to see. I don't like that he's just like really sick. I can buy five, which should be decent, and then I can go back and buy the Venom Saver. <laughs> so let's do that. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so... I don't think I have any more attacks for this just yet. I do not. Cool. Okay, uh, let's accept a quest. We'll go into the sewer for a minute, and then we'll work on the quest. Was that Conrad? Yeah. Hi. I have a hard time remembering people's faces. Okay, Conrad. Hi. I have a black kind of face. Hi. Well, that's kind of mean to say. Wait for them to go through the doors because I won't let you go through the door while they're near it. That's one of the really weird things about this game is when it'll let you walk through doors of all things. What's up, Thanos? What is going to do to smile on Fang? Brave Warriors. Which one is called Dwight from the Priest Guild? Smile ons are tough. 
Yep, I know how smile ons are tough. Believe me. Actually, I'm just gonna do Cosmo. I don't think Cosmo heals, Clive will heal, Aiden will... That's really not a great party, but... It may be what I need to do. Uh, let's go back to the sewers, see if we can find anything sh to get some experience on. Actually, can we talk to Dennis if he's in the room? Because to recruit Dennis, we has to be in the room. He is in the room. Can you be a bit quieter? I need to concentrate when I'm fly hunting. Flies make good food. Oh, they're for Isabella. I was like, wait, hold up. Oh, Daniel. Yeah, that Venom Saber. Hey, Daniel, you want to hit me? Poke! There's a document in case of a person named... Yep, there is. Goodbye, Dennis. I also like that I feeded you by poking in your butt. There we go. Ooh. Ow! We weren't picking on you, we challenged you to a fight. That's how you challenge people to fights, I hear. You just start kicking them. Just kick, 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 and they eventually are like, yeah, okay, we'll fight, let's go. Okay, um, actually, can we go this way? Yes, well, let's find this guy. Sorry for not chatting, finishing up your final exam. Ooh, no worries, final exams are way more important. Oh, the Venom Saber. Another Mackie, or Anthony Mackie, <laughs> Hey, Anthony Mackie's a cool dude. Clive, really, you threw a thing that did two damage. Aiden is better than you, and he's a little kid. Dude, the only reason he's even in my party is because I want to have his dad in my party. And so he has to be leveled up. Oh, Clive. Ooh, it's a new day, actually. I can try to get Flora. You're not really used to little cut-ins with their faces. It's, yeah, it's, it takes a bit of adjusting. That's, that is for sure. I need to be using two-handed swords more. The best weapon in the game is a two-handed sword. And I'm pretty sure you can get it before the final boss. So I really should be just focusing on using these as much as I can. But I actually really like playing with all the others better. Let's see. Oh, I was going this way. Do I want to go through that door as well, or do I want to continue going here? We'll continue going here, I guess, because I still am doing it.
do this. There we go. Speaking of Thanos, the Thanos vs. Smash thing is really- People are wanting Thanos and Smash. That is not fun. And let's be real, he already made it into Fortnite, so... Although I do think that was like a limited time thing, but still, he was in a game. Good for you, Clive. You leveled up. Ooh, we learned downward the rest. Let's get that equipped. So... Status for Jack. Do that, that, then end with lunge. And then we'll do another crescent slice, I guess. There we go. We'll just go through this door if we're right by it. And this is how I will get lost in the sewers by not remembering of whence I came. Is this literally just a square? Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? Like a character exists to me, the people want them in Smash. Yeah. Even if they've already flat out said, like, they have to originate from a video game, it's like that character originated in the comic book. It still doesn't matter, I still want him in Smash. Like, oh, well, he's not going to be, so don't get your hopes up, person. Like, let's be full reels. Oh man, we had to see Clive's face. Boo. People want Cory Baxter. I mean, but Cory in the House is best anime. Why wouldn't we want Cory in the House and Smash? Gosh, that meme is from so long ago. So long ago. Hey, I didn't get lost. Huzzah. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get that, pass that test to get that picture for Flora so we can swap uh, Flora with Clive and uh, then we can talk to the guy who wants the smile on Fang to make medicine that he can sell for ridiculous prices oh yeah that's the weird teeth guy that's the guy whose teeth just creep me out for some reason and that's probably really petty but uh, let's face it that's, it does he just like is constantly sweating and then he's got these weird teeth. He's like, oh, I wanted to get this right on my thing. And it's like, oh, stop. Boo doom, ba doom, ba doom, doom. Goku is the only exception you can see. What? This picture? Are you fine? Boom, there we go. Now I just gotta find Flora. Shoot, where does Flora usually hang out? I kinda think she stays in the chapel most of the day. That's gonna be the hard part, just finding out where Flora is. It's not like Harvest Moon where I can be like, track this person's location so I know where they are. I just have to keep wandering around and guessing. <sighs> Wandering around and guessing. Hmm. There's Fernando. But not from the song, so don't get your hopes up. Oh, who was it who even sang that song? It's been so long ago now, I don't remember. Oh, who's the person you can recruit by walking in and hearing their confessional? 
people brought back the Cory in the House meme after Byleth's one. <sighs> Go figure. Flora. Where are you? Actually, you know what? I'll go into the confessional really quick. Oh, wow, it's going in. Ugh, let's see. Hi. <laughs> Oh, God, to stay tough. Well, Sakurai went out and clearly stated no anime or manga. Yeah, he keeps saying it, and they keep throwing it out there, and he keeps being like, I told you, we're not doing anime or manga characters. But people don't get the hint, I guess. Um... I think remember where Flora hangs out. I don't think she ever really comes to the Vareth part of town though. I kinda think she normally stays in a wash in. Must have gotten annoyed but he stated all the final characters for Ultimate have been decided now. True. Lady Anastasia! Oh, Anastasia's bad too. Alashion easily has some of the worst characters in the game. What was that, Miranda? Yeah, Miranda! Hi. Oh, I forget, she always loses track of where God one is. Uh, let's try the bookstore. Why not? Let's see. You hope Shantae is one of the DLC characters? I could easily see Shantae be one of the DLC characters. I think she fits the bill pretty much. Or pretty well, I should say. Not pretty much. If an indie character gets in. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm still kind of hoping a Ace Attorney rep gets in, whether it's Phoenix Wright or... Apollo or Edgeworth or somebody. It'd be cool to see someone other than Phoenix, just since Phoenix was in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. But I'd love Ace Attorney to get some rep, since it's pretty much stayed on Nintendo until they did the HD remake that finally went like everywhere. <sighs> Let's see. Shovel Knight's not in yet, right? Because otherwise I could see Shovel Knight possibly getting in. But you should think go for the face, right? That's what I expect if for some reason Ace Attorney was in it, probably would be Phoenix. But just being a fan, I would love if they put someone else in there too, just for the sake of it. If it's not a me costume for Shantae. A me costume for Shantae would look really weird, let's face it. Oh, there's Flora. Of course you could help me. We're gonna go fight some Smilodons, and I want a better healer than Clive. Trenchcoat costume for Gumshoe. Dude, I would buy it. I also need to buy the Persona 3 one, because I really want to make Minato a character. Well, they're so cheap. They make it hard to say no. Yeah, it's just one of those I just haven't gone and done it. 
I want to buy the Mega Man .exe one as well. Although my gunner, I use the custom robo costume because gotta rep the custom robo, you know. I think I'll save before we go fight the Smilodons. I think I might be okay level-wise. But that way, just to be on the safe side. Oh, are we gonna have to, uh... Where's my girl Flora? There's my girl Flora. That way, uh... We don't just get some weird game over screen. But I've got the Venom Sword, so hopefully I can get them poisoned if we're lucky. Uh, which will help do more damage. I think they're in the Septum Cave, I think. Septum Cave is a good grinding spot. Oh, this looks like it's gonna progress the story, okay. Jeff. Hmm? Jeff, are you Yeah, yeah, I'm here. You don't have to scream the door down. Uh What's up, Yuri? Did Sarge get all liquored up again? <clears throat> no, nothing like that. Just come, please. W what's wrong? It's Auntie Sheila. Something's happened. Oh. Miss Barbena went to cash a lottery ticket, but Auntie Sheila wouldn't give her the money. What? First, she started screaming at Miss Barbena, and then she started hitting her. That's no good. Uh, so you're saying Auntie Sheila hit Miss Barbena, right? Yes, that's right. Will you just come, please? I don't really get it. Miss Barbena! You worry, my dear. Are you all right? Why did Auntie Sheila do this? I have no idea, darling. Hmm. It must be that illness that's been going around. Hmm, that funky illness. Why else would Sheila do such a terrible thing? Illness? Yes, her eyes were awful. Like some kind of wild beast. Where did she go? She took the money. And then she ran home. Uh, yeah, her house just went over there. Is Yuri secretly evil? No, Yuri's not evil. Yuri's just the barmaid. <laughs> That's Yuri's whole role in this game. The barmaid and to tell you about Auntie Sheila. Hey, don't worry. I'm on the case. Please, be careful, Jeff. Just leave it to me. Okay, then. Alrighty, so... We can save, why not? I don't think anything really happens. I think we just, like, have a cutscene with her. But to be safe. You failed to get Alessa. Oof. I'm sorry to hear that. I just downloaded the update to see who all uh, is in here. Hey cousin, how much longer till the uh, Annette banner gets update uploaded? I <laughs> doesn't worry. Don't worry about it. Doesn't matter. Let's talk with Auntie Sheila. Did you ever end up getting Subasa and Fe? Oof. Miss Sheila, Miss Sheila, are you in there? Come on, open up. Hey, I said open up. If you don't, I'm gonna bust my way in. Oh, 
Less than three hours. Okay. Oof. I probably could have streamed Fat tonight and then been like, I have terrible teams. Help me make them better. Because I never play, but I want Annette. to steal my money she was the one who had the winning ticket it was her money hmm. i don't care whose it was even if it was hers it's mine now oof you can't just she missed all the one from the first banner they're just barely good enough to get the story arms gotcha you want to steal my money i think i got well, I so far in book one and my team just wasn't cutting it so then i started doing some of book two and then i was just like eh, i just don't really care No, it's not. I'll make six of drawers, get you the full banner. Hopefully, soon enough the game will force you to build a real team. But until then, you're just going to... I hadn't booted it up in a few months until Kaizen told me Annette was coming out. And I was like, I have to, I have to try for Annette. There she is, over there. It's about time. Are you all right? Yeah, no problem. Good, glad to hear it. My Lysithia is in the same banner as well. Nice. Watch you get Annette and me get Lysithia and I'll be like, uh, we should have been able to trade. <laughs> They're making Lunatic and Harder Maps even more. Ooh. No problem, Guardsman. You keep doing you. Trade to complete our wife. <laughs> That's what I hate about Gotcha Games is I wish there was some sort of trade system. There's been a couple times in Dissidia that I'll get the relic my friend's really wanting and he'll get the relic I'm really wanting. And it's like, ugh, if only we could trade. I'm so excited for Bernie. Nice. Is this really me? Or someone else? It's you and someone else. You get why they don't. Right, yeah. I mean, that's that's the whole reason they don't. But at the same time, it'd be nice. What? Who's there? That's the Cheshire Cat. Was that... Was that my voice? You were speaking Elvish. Remember how you almost died and got fused together with an elf so you could stay alive? Someone that isn't me. Mm-hmm. His name is Hap, and he is an elf. But they probably didn't tell you that because you were, like, knocked out. It's Master Jack, yes. I remember you from the selection trials. I know it doesn't look it, but Lord Star is a master of the sword. Especially when it comes to getting hit by one. Yeah, Star is not that great. Ugh, it's too heavy. Maybe I have the wrong weapon. Listen, will you go somewhere else? You're starting to get on my nerves. I do wish Faye had a sparkling system. Or even a way to trade like 25 star. Right. That's the one thing about Dissidia is they'll give you like pity. So if you've pulled... How many times is it? Is it 16? I don't... Uh, yeah, like 15 or 16 times, I think. Uh, you will... You'll get uh, these tokens with each 10 pull. And if you do the 10 pull 25 times... Not 25 times, 15 times. 15, 16 times. Uh, you can, you'll get enough tokens to buy one of the weapons. And I've had to do that the last couple banners. I've not gotten lucky with it at all. As much as I would hate to admit it. Oh wait, I was gonna go save. It's stupid. So Bride Seda, Bride Charlotte were the same event in color. I got two Bride Seda and ten Bride Charlotte. Don't care about Charlotte, would trade them for one, right? I haven't even paid enough with the mechanics of the game to know how to like manage my inventory and like units.
Let's see. Um, but we need to go talk to Dwight. You don't either, man. Still not technically learned how to play it. Yeah, I've I've literally just done in there and like auto battled a few times. The, I, I probably should have done that. I could have had like Kaizen talking me through how to like actually build people, maybe. Or Tanuki. Tanuki might have been a good one to be like, hey, can you tell me how to play this game? <laughs> I don't know how Tanuki. I don't know if Tanuki plays the mobile game. Probably he's a big enough Fire Emblem fan. That's this Franklin's room. Have them legit build my team, right? I'm from Theater Vancouver. I'm here about the Smilodon test job. Oh, you are Jack Russell, sir. Yep. Yes, yes, sir, Jack. Mm -hmm. You play for every day, probably way too much. When you're bored, you just instinctively load it up. I'm gonna see if I can, like, auto battle some while we're doing this, so that way I can get some orbs. If you played Heroes a ton, but it's slowing down. His morale dipped ever since the DLC sub. Ha ah, I gotcha. Good, he's mad. That makes sense. The one thing I think was the worst was that they're locking the quality of life stuff behind it. If it was just like, hey, you can get like one good hero a month and stuff like that. Okay, whatever. No biggie. But uh, the whole fact, the quality of life improvements are there. Ugh. That's the lame part. Uh, shoot. It's a very rare medicine. Yep. And they're wanting to sell it for a bunch of money. You'll notice he's got gold everywhere. I'm about to need to grab another drink here. I don't even think I've done a lot of the paralogs. Wait, there's book four now? Did I even, I didn't even start book three. Oh, wow. Yeah, that one little bottle is 100,000 to golds. I only got to chapter 11 of the first, the first act. The quality of life auto stuff is like the main selling point, right? That, that stuff totally should have been free. You know, in it for the money. Uh, apparently the pass is what made Mario Kart do okay. Yeah, Mario Kart started off doing really bad, I remember. Uh, the resplendent here to make it worth it for you personally, but the quality of life stuff should be available. Book four is fairy people. Okay. Now I kind of want to like jump over and stream that, but I don't even remember how I get my phone to work on my computer. It's been a while. Hmm. So it will end up in your medicine or your pockets. Where are we going? Okay. Do the first chapter of every book. It gives you free units. Okay. At this point, I don't even remember the story. I would just be like skipping through it. Yeah, it used to be ready at a night, you know? Stories all over the place. Yeah. I goofed up on that one. Oh well. How do I auto battle again? Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay, so we've heard- Oh, this girl. She wants to be like Lady Anastasia. Oh, Lulu. Do not be like Lady Anastasia. Oh, and I picked the wrong team for that mission. Oof. Okay. I apparently had a Byleth, and I did not remember ever getting a Byleth. But he is very weak. Okay. Okay, the Smilodon. Okay, we need to go out of Lupus Gate. Gotcha. So that is where we will leave from then. 
Fest story isn't great. Book one had no real plot. Book two got way too kill happy. Three was cool because edgy jello people. Okay. Uh, book four is still going. Male Byleth, yes. It was probably like a free unit. I don't remember pulling for him. It was probably one like you got for logging in or something. Yeah, I picked a bad team. I auto battled on this. And only had Hector and Byleth survive. Oh no, my healer survived. Okay. Oh, he was free for anyone who bought three houses. Yeah, that is that is why. I do have three houses. I still need to finish that one. Okay, uh, let me go to the first book of book three. I'm just skipping through the story at this point. I don't even know. Uh, book two, book three. Do, do, do. So I follow like I'm going to Earth Valley, but I make the turn. Okay. Uh, what was it? Per license, just watch people buy low and copies for the plus <laughs> I'm sure some people did. Like, I'm, I'm fairly certain. That has happened to at least one person. Uh, auto battle. Uh, you still don't have Dimitri, he's the only three house unit you're missing. Then at least he's the one unit you dislike. That way you're not missing the one you actually care about. I'm pretty sure this is not the way to go, but can I read the... I'm pretty sure it's the next one we go down on. Yeah, we don't need to go to the Undeveloped region. You can only get one copy for free per account. Oh, okay, then no one did that. Everyone who bought 10 Butterfingers for all the FF7R. I mean, I would. I think we can recruit these guys. Tense music makes me firm. Relaxing music makes them soft. Okay. Right, right? Well, did you know this? When choosing vegetables, the curved ones are better than the straight ones. Can you believe that? Yes! Oh. <sighs> I thought he was the guy who said to say yes. Oh, now I made him mad. We can probably talk to him again the next day. And he'll be cool with us. Bat time. <laughs> there you go, Bioth. Destroy that dragon thingy. Alrighty. You don't have a PS4 or else you would, but probably not Butterfingers. True. Uh, I personally would probably do Butterfinger. I like those better. But I heard rumors too, they changed the formula and they aren't as good. Also, I need to see how to redeem it. I heard if you have 14 Shadowbringers, you get a special theme for a uh, remake. So I'm like, I need to see how to claim that. You. Yeah, you told me that yesterday, Kai, and you killed Lorne's intentionally because you just don't like Lorne's. Let's see. And this, I go straight, I think, at this point. So we turn to go to... Yeah, 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 this is where we go. Two bars get you an exclusive Tifa theme. Okay. But I remember reading somewhere specifically about if you had the Shadowbringers DLC, you got... It wasn't a Tifa theme, but it was some sort of theme. Yeah, I saw that all the other items looked like they were just like, uh, they were just like, uh, just like a theme of Midgar, I think. Uh, but I'm like, I have the game, even if I don't use the theme, might as well claim it. Uh, you're really excited for Flame Emperor GHB between base Edelgard, Flame Emperor and her winning the choose your whatever for. Okay. 
We're one away from Edelgard emblem. All right, that's nice. Legend, choose your legend. I, I should know that. I hear Kaizen talk about it enough. I should remember it's choose your legend. I just don't, apparently. Oh, here's some Smilodons, you guys. Yeah, we got one of them poisoned. But we can't kill these Smilodons against Smilodon Fangs. We have to kill specific Smilodon in a cave. Floor, you're gonna be getting some big experience. Oh, Floor, are you dead? Um, let's see. I'm only keep up with current goings on. Uh, do I have a revive? I honestly don't remember. Uh, does not look like it. Nope. Okie doke. Cosmo, keep knocking him out of my way. For some reason, thought we had like a couple screens before we got to the bad, the bad things. You know that Marth keeps getting a third place seat, third forever. Everyone gets a free Altana if you all get on the eleventh. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Ooh, Cactus Man. This is a better one to fight because we only have the one enemy at the rest. Oh, that punch hurt. It is totally an oversized Cacnea. That is for sure. Cosmo just keeps knocking them over. And it's nice because it keeps me from getting hurt, but I'm also trying to like poison the guy. And if you keep knocking him over, I can't not I can just not damage him ever. Remind me how many times you've been just <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I forgot to hit auto battle. I've just been sitting there. Whoopsie! It happens. Boom. You don't like Marth, but at this point you do feel bad. I like Marth just fine. I think this is where we're supposed to go for the quest, I think. No? Okay. Oh, yeah, we have to go to the Ocho region. Ooh, yeah, yeah, we're struggling over here. Septum Cave is a terrific grinding spot. Hopefully I can get enemies that aren't like 50 on the screen. That's going to be what gets, uh, what gets me with Flora. Oof, okay. All right, two of the frogs are poisoned, which is good. That one's confused. Nice. Nice. 
Try to stick around Flora, make sure she's fine. Uh oh, Cosmo got poisoned. Oh, there was a salamander. Those guys are no fun. I guess you just sound like Shadow Dragon. <sighs> this is not a Muso game. I haven't played a Muso game in a hot minute. I'll be playing Scramble, but that's kind of a Muso game, kind of not a Muso game. So we'll have to see about that one. Wasn't there like a sequel to Shadow Dragon we never got or something? There we go, I got you a little poison. That is not what I wanted to hit. I wish she healed Cosmo anyway. Smart Salamander backing away from me. Koei Tecmo tailors the formula to different IPs fairly well. Mm hmm. Yeah, and that's where like some people are saying it's essentially Persona Warriors, but I'm like, it's not really a Warriors game. It just has that hack and slash gameplay, it seems like. Otherwise, it seems like it's very much just a JRPG. Or a action RPG, I should say, not a JRPG. Ooh, I learned reverse blade. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. The menu UI is arguably fancier than vanilla P5. Oh, for sure. Yo, Flora, heal could be nice. Thank you. I heard Dynasty Warriors 9 wasn't good. Oh, Dynasty Warriors 9 did terribly. I saw it on sale on Amazon the other day for like $6. Let's hope she's healing me. I'm going to try to avoid getting attacked in hopes. Sweet, she was. Oh, I got frozen again. Well, rip. Okay. Um, I should probably go do some sewer grinding. I really don't want to, but I know I need to. You both want to rewatch a comic a kill and you don't want to put yourself through that again. <laughs> Oof. Uh, da, 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 da. I've not seen a comic a kill, I don't think. I'm considering trying to watch Noragami. I've seen the openings, the openings look really cool. Your history professor told you not to come for his final, so tomorrow you're free <laughs> done. Nice! Congrats. The semesters are always tough. Why'd I come up here? I need to go downstairs. I am not focusing well at all today. Dum, ba -da 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 -dum, ba -dum. I 
Have I talked with... Did I save after talking? I did not save after talking to him. Okay. I don't really want to do that. We'll do a few level grinding. We may either switch to something else or end it for the night. I don't really want... I don't want to do too much grinding on screen because that can just be boring. Best advice if you watch it is do not under any circumstance get attached to anyone. Gotcha. Didn't miss a question on a prior exam, so he was like, there's no point. The only time I didn't not go to a final was when it was a class I was doing so bad in. I legitimately could not pass the class even if I got a 100. So at that point I was like, no point in even going to an 8 a.m. final that I'm going to fail for, for a class I'm failing regardless. That was an interesting class. Did you watch Mirai Nikki? You failed art class. Did you not show up enough or did you like misinterpret an assignment? That final was a, uh, it was a math class. I had to take, a uh, the major I started off in required you take pre-cal one and two combined into a five hour class or five credit hour class. My first semester there, I had a teacher who didn't teach us anything. We literally just looked up Chuck Norris jokes all day. That's all his class was, was Chuck Norris jokes. Cramming in a thing. He assigned homework that was not graded and was just for practice. And we were having to use that uh, math lab thing. Uh, and it was right as like the first or second semester they'd had that going. And it kept kicking us off. So we couldn't even complete tests. Because it would kick us off, and it's supposed to like stop your timer if it happened, but it wouldn't. So half of us failed every test because we couldn't even finish the test to know if we knew it. Uh, and I had to retake the class. And then when I retook the class, I had a teacher who actually taught, but was way harder. And I just could not pass his tests. And it finally was to the point where it's like, even if I get a 100 on everything else... I'm still getting a D and I have to have a C to pass it. So it was like, alright, well, whatevs. Uh, my art teacher said maybe art isn't for everybody. Ooh! You knew you weren't good, but that was harsh. For sure. I hate art classes. They fundamentally pose what art is actually about. Analyzing art objectively. I mean, art, art is one of those that, like, unless you're in, like, if it's, like, a 100 level or even probably a 200 level, that shouldn't matter, like, too much. But yeah, it's, that's like literature class. It's like, what did they mean by that? I, I remember I got so mad, I was at a comic shop in college. And so people were talking about how they didn't like the Hunger Games books because the society didn't make any sense to them. Uh, and they were just like overanalyzing what the meaning of the book was and all this. And I was like, the author didn't make the book to be analyzed and be this like, analytical piece of literature she flat out said I wanted to make a fun war story she made a fun war story it doesn't have to perfectly make sense stop analyzing everything more than it needs to art about finding your own way to express yourself yeah I mean that's the whole thing at art so there's no rules but there's always going to be those people who want to overanalyze it all all the time which happens. <laughs> oh, I should also say that uh, second pre-cal professor I had who was uh, just the hard teacher. He also had a rule that you could challenge him to racquetball, and if you could beat him at racquetball, he would give you an A in the class regardless. Uh, so he'd always have people who just wouldn't come to class and then try to play him at racquetball. But what he wouldn't tell you is he was a former world champion racquetball player. So, so you weren't winning, uh, but the deal was if you challenged him and you lost, he would give you an F regardless. So you could have like a B, try, decide to beat him to get an A, fail to beat him, and then get an F. Or, oh wait, I just came from this way, stupid, I need to go back. Uh, so he would always have one or two people who wouldn't know that. They just wouldn't come to class. They would spend all their time just uh, in the gym learning how to play racquetball, challenge him and lose. But I actually found out the other day, he actually uh, <laughs> he actually had someone who beat him, so he gave him an A, and the, uh, the dean of the school found out. 
And, uh... We can recruit him, but I think maybe it's just not time to yet. Uh, <laughs> he gave him an A, and they, they told him he could not do that anymore. <laughs> so now he, can, uh, he can't tell students. He'll give them an A if they beat him in racquetball. Yeah, the book he was based off of did go for that. So it's strength. Yeah, it was literally like, she just wanted to make a fun war story for kids to enjoy reading. She made a fun war story. It's like, you can not like the book, that's fine. That's totally subjective. But it was like, you're not meant to analyze it. It's just a fun piece of literature. Uh, he will go to the test that he made, and if we beat him, he got an A. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I got so annoyed at the Chuck, Chuck Norris teacher because I had a friend in one of his other classes and the whole time he just kept talking crap about our classes, about our class and how we were, uh, we were all just this really, this bunch of really stupid people. We were failing every test and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, uh, you're not teaching us anything. Your former computer teacher was a former professional soccer player. From Turkey, okay. And he would take on teams of five kids, constantly beat them. <laughs> Good luck with having missed a single problem. For sure. And then I went to being an English major for a while, because I've always liked writing a lot. So I was like, I'll become a writing major. But then that, like, every little thing was just horribly analytical. And then I had one teacher that just made me absolutely hate it. Uh... The, uh, the racquetball math teacher always held us over class until I was always late to this one English class. And he had a rule he wouldn't let you into his class if you were late because he's not letting you disrupt his time. But if you were late, he also wouldn't let you turn in assignments. So even if you were, like, waited after class and were trying to, like, turn something into him, he wouldn't let you. It was too bad, so sad, essentially. Yeah, I know, we've met. Uh, but, uh, yeah, just, uh, I would always try to turn in papers and he wouldn't take it because I was late. And it's like, it's not my fault. I literally have a note from the professor saying he's the reason I was late. And then the English department was just like, well, if that's his rule, we're not going to change it. It's like, ugh, you guys are the worst. Interactions like that feel very Rune Factory-esque. Oh, for sure. I finally started playing Rune Factory 4 the other day, and I'm loving it. I couldn't get into 1. I tried streaming it in hopes that streaming it would make me get through 1, and I just I couldn't do it. I did not enjoy Rune Factory 1. I got Rune Factory 2 and saw it pretty much was the same, just with slightly different characters, and was like, hmm. But I'm really liking 4. I also liked Tides of Destiny, alright. That was the first one that I was like, oh, this series is a terrible. That one, the gameplay felt a lot like Radiata Stories. And so that's why I feel like I liked it, because I really love Radiata stories right here. Uh, but they re-released 4 on the Switch from the 3DS, and I never got around to playing the 3DS one. So, I was like, yes, let's go. Aussie Boxing Gator. <laughs> uh, and I looked up the characters I could get married to, just to see, like, design-wise, who I thought I might want to go for. But I'm really liking all of them. So now I'm like, I don't know... Or all the ones I've unlocked. There's still a few I haven't unlocked yet, but... The one I thought I'd like, I like. But I really like a lot of the others. We may grind for another 20 minutes. We may call it there so I can grind. Is this game popular? I'd never heard of it till you. So, Radiata Story is not really. Uh, it's very much, it kind of has like a niche fan base that really loves it. Pretty much everybody I know who's played it has liked the game a lot. Except for one. I had one roommate try to play it, but he only made it like 30 minutes and was like, eh, not for me. So I feel like he didn't really give it a shot. Everybody else that I've met who played it likes it a lot. Uh, there's actually a guy on Twitter right now who has a petition going to get it brought to more current gen systems so more people will play it. Or for us to at least get like a sequel maybe even. Which I doubt will happen. We'd get the port before the sequel. Uh, it was that very much that niche game that no one really bought because Square didn't market it well. 
Uh, but it, it's got its little devoted following, I guess. But yeah, lately, uh, there's been a bunch of people talking about it. I think due to the petition guy, he's on like Twitter just like all day finding any post that mentions Fradiata stories and talking about it. You never know, a port would be nice even if we can't get her. Yeah, I don't even care if they remaster it. Like, if they would do the whole like PS2 on PS4 thing and just put it there with some trophy support, I would be 100% down. Um, but Limited Run Games did post a thing the other day saying if they if there could be any PS2 game that got a limited run like PS4 treatment, what would it be? And there was a lot more Radiata stories posted on there than I thought. So it may be more popular than I realized, and I just never knew. Um, or it could just be that one guy who's just looking for Radiata stories all day on Twitter. It's just getting a bunch of people to get there and ask for it. The two like best responses for that were uh, Radiata stories and I think Persona 3 FES. Some people, for some reason, think that Persona 3 FES is really expensive and hard to find. And it's like... You can buy a new copy on Amazon for $20, people. It's not expensive or hard to find. You just have to buy it. I mean, I would be okay with that one, too. If Flamin' Run was like, hey, we got Persona 3 on PS4. I would be like, yes, I love you. Thank you. But Roddy Stories would be even better. Let's get this cockroaches. Auto battle. Uh, small hardcore presents usually show up more than with that kind of s true That is true And I mean Persona 3 is the one Persona most Persona fans who got in with 5 and 4 just haven't played Because they heard you can't control party members like you could in 4 which they don't like Which honestly, hot take, I really enjoy that actually uh, I feel like it makes the game unique but more on that later. Uh, but yeah, the people who didn't like that and knew that it didn't have the improvements of 4 won't play it because they want to have all the quality of life improvements from 4. The people who played it from 5 probably don't have a PS2 still. Or a PSP. Uh, so that would be one I would like to get brought over so more people can appreciate it. It's still problem. Huh? I don't know if 3 is still my favorite Persona or if 5 has taken that spot. 5 is just masterfully well done. But if we get lucky, a uh, limited run will soon be like, Hey! Persona 3 or Radiata stories. Limited run release. But also, Radiata stories is owned by Square. So, I mean, let's face it, we're probably never going to hear anything about it again. Still only played Persona 5 since a friend gave it to you. Nice. I'm ready for the the Persona 5 Royal coming out. Part of me wants to stream it and part of me is like, nope, that's when I just want to hold myself up for the day and just go to town. Persona makes a really weird streaming game because the first couple hours are so slow and so just cutscenes. I feel like they're very odd games to stream. Persona Warrior, or not Persona Warriors, Dynasty Warriors for a limited run, level up those weapons, and the only just, <laughs> I mean, hey, why not? I didn't get into Dynasty Warriors till the Gundam games, and I really loved the Gundam ones, but the only, like, mainline Dynasty I played was Five Empires, and that was because a buddy and I wanted to make a Young Justice campaign, so we base characters off all the Young Justice characters, and we're going through a campaign. <laughs> we were the only ones that pre-ordered it from that store. Look, we got him three copies. There were two pre-orders, and that was the, that was you guys. It was like, yes! And that also made us sad, because we were buying a game nobody wanted. Square only cares about Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts. Square barely even cares about Kingdom Hearts. It took so long for a lot of those to come out. That's like Custom Robo never did well over here, but Nintendo also never, like, promoted it over here besides, like, a one-page, like, picture ad in a Nintendo Power. I am really... I'm debating if I want to import a copy of Synaptic Drive, which is the Custom Robo spiritual successor. 
Or, if I want to uh, just wait in hopes that they actually localize it. They did confirm English is on the Japanese copy. So part of me is like, buy it there and support it. And part of me is like, wait and see. And I just don't know. Oh, I forgot about this dude. Octopath went to Steam and got a sequel spinoff. Bravely. Oh, Octopath is getting a sequel slash spinoff? I didn't know that. Brave was getting a new game, Dragon Quest Gets Love. Dragon Quest, I feel like, is going to get more love soon because Eleven did really well. This guy should give us a lot of experience. It's a custom robo, but I'll spot Chibi Robo. Yeah, they are different. Chibi Robo is more well known. The custom robo is my jam. Custom Robo is terrific. Oh, I was like, what? I got a Twitter notification. I thought it was someone replied to something I had said, but it was not. So then I'm like, why did you notify me of this? I did not need to know this, Twitter. Okay. Isn't the Octopack spin off the Japan exclusive mobile game? Who knows? I still need to pick up Octopath. I still need to play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I got it day one and I still am like five hours in. That's that's a prequel. Okay. I really need to try to be better about buying more games lately. I need to go through and beat them all. I'm trying to add a, my whole backlog to... Uh, uh, how long to beat so that way I might actually Hello. yeah you have Hello. they're trying to figure out what's going on in the Hello. sewers I, mean, I think we can recruit him just by talking to him but we, I think it just has to be later are you still catching all those shinies I know that's the one thing I don't like about shiny hunting on stream is that it takes away from me playing other stuff on stream which helps me stay more focused on actually beating it than just playing it but then I also know that if I don't shiny hunt on stream, I'm going to get like all these shinies. And then it'll just be like, oh yeah, I've got this collection, but you don't get to see it. And that's a little sad. I forgot Carlos is like the guard. This is Star's room? Yeah. Um, the difficulty being a... Yeah, it's either like, I just do nothing but stream shinies and then... Work on like stream elements while I'm not doing it, or I play other stuff. I'm thinking about wanting just to. That's my only shiny since like September, and I don't even think that was September of last year. I think I. It's been a long time since I got a shiny. Uh, wait, I can go to my shiny decks and find out because I have the date of when I got the Dene. Well, I got Stuffle, but Stuffle wasn't on stream. That was like in November. Come on, Shiny Dex. So, without Nine Tails, which was March 20th, Stuffle was 19th of November. Uh, Meltan was February of 19. So I've got. Did I get. Did I get to Dene after that? Yeah, so until Stuffle, which was in November, I hadn't gotten one since the Dene in April of last year. Goldilocks is an amazing name. Oh, for sure. I was having trouble coming up with a name, so I went to uh, one of my pokey tuber friends, uh, Jick Nonsense, and I was in his Discord, and I was like, I'm harming for gold... Uh, Klefki, but I can't think of a name. They're like, just do Goldilocks. And I was like, all right, I'm down with that. That works. I wish I could take the credit for it. Bust your shinies are caught in this game or from other people's raids. Uh, yeah, I got uh, Todoroki from the, that raid. Which is horribly nice. But I think I'm going to stop here because I don't want to do more grinding on stream, but I know I'm going to need to do more grinding for some on. So I think I'll stop here for the night. Um, but I think the new plan going forward is I'm going to try to do three streams a week. Uh, one stream for shiny hunting, one stream for radiata, and then the second stream is either going to be more shiny hunting or radiata depending on my mood. 
I just thought I can hopefully keep more focused and motivated. Um, but I need to get Flores level up. I may try to get a few more people recruited maybe who might be a little bit better. Um, but that is beside the point. Um, but thanks everyone for coming out. Um, let's see. Uh, do I have any stream friends that are on at the moment? I'd much rather just send people there. Um, hmm. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, Grizzly's going. Let's just go over to Grizzly then. Uh, so, we are going to go to Grizzly. He's a friend of the stream. Uh, I don't know what he's playing. Oh, he's playing Final Fantasy. He's playing Final Fantasy 7. Cool. Uh, so, fun, fun games all around. Um, so, we shall go there in just a second. Let me go back to my channel so it loops me over in real time as opposed to uh, not. Coolio. Uh, so I appreciate it, everybody. I truly do. Uh, and I hopefully will see you all when I go live next time, which is probably next Tuesday. And let's all head over to Grizzly Stream. These are bad barrels. Oh, what the heck? Yo, Falcon. Thanks for the raid, bro. Let's go. We just cracking some weird panther jaguar.